Yo ho ho, Soul King here, welcoming you guys back to the tech shop. Today, we have another build, an HP Enterprise ProLine DL20 Gen 10 Show. There you go, this is the beauty. All right, she's kind of tiny, right? All right, so today we have some funds to add to the server and give you a tour. All right, we have our PCI riser, processor slot, RAM, power supply bay, and a hard drive bay. Pretty much it, it's not a lot of real estate in the server, so we're gonna get right into it. All right guys, first things first, we have RAM to install. All right, so for our RAM, we look on our cover, cover tells you for two dim slots if you're adding two you use slot three and one slot three and one is our white slot so that's what we're going to use today and with that we're installing 16 gigs of ddr4 again look at that wave all right make sure it's oriented the right way in the slot properly and Press until you see both ears click in. Our next piece is uh, HP Smart, Ar Smart Array Storage RAID Controller. You want to remove your PCI riser, get your RAID controller. This is what it looks like here. This is the slot you're going to be installing. You want to mount on your two mounting holes right here. Make sure it's in place. Seats down, get your thumb screws. You want to press into place, you'll feel it click. And then you take a T10. grommets you want to remove your hard drive bay connector from the board and install it to port one of your RAID controller that way any hard drive in the bay are no longer recognized as SATA drives and now recognized as, as RAID drives for the RAID controller so if you want to set up a RAID RAID 1 10, 1 plus 0, whatever you want, you can do that. You want to now take out your hard drive blanks, remove those, and install our two, two terabyte 7.2K SATA drives. We have this here. Install and make sure it clicks into place. Do the same thing with hard drive number two. Install. Push in firmly, make sure it's seated. Your swing arm will come into place. You click that in, you're in place. Take your fan, reseat that, and make sure that your mounting grommets are in place. And that's your rate controller installed, hard drives in place, and now they're able to be seen by your rate controller because your cable is now communicating with the rate controller, which is now communicating with the motherboard. So that is installed. Our next part is our HP Enterprise 32 gig micro SD USB boot drive. This is where our operating system will be stored. There are two 32 gig SD cards installed in this boot drive. This is pretty much a USB version of this card here and it will store our OS and give us better speed and response within our operating system. With this, the same redundancy and protection that you would have from a RAID controller, you'll get in this USB RAID con controller on with, this, with the speed of a micro SD card read So our next piece is to remove this blank here. It's a, a, a baffle, an air baffle. Um, you want to keep this, you don't want to 
cost that. That is for our HP Enterprises dedicated ILO and serial port kit. So what you want to do is take your ILO board. This is for the serial connector. This is for an M2 connector and this is your ILO NIC. You want to install it in this slot here. first obviously and she will slide right into place once it's there take your mounting screw fit it into that hole get it locked down using a t10 torque make sure it's tight now you want to take your serial port this allows for remote management through HP's integrated lights out system. You want to remove your blank as well for the serial port. Install your serial port into its place on the rear of the case. And you want to change out your tips now a 5.0 bit driver take your mounting screws and mount your serial port properly into place make sure it's snug down you also want to run your cable under this flap here. That way it's out of the way of your PCI riser. So now we've gotten to the PCI riser. On this, you have two possibilities, a low profile slot and a regular profile slot, both for PCIs. What you want to do now, Get your T10 back on your screwdriver. You want to loosen your low profile bracket screw. Our next part to install is a HPE 1 gig 2 port 36 1T NIC adapter. We're going to put that seeing as it has a low profile bracket installed in our low profile slot here. So once you remove your screw, this piece is now movable. You want to remove, remove your blank as always, get that out the way, that can be discarded. Install your card and make sure it's seated in its PCI slot properly and you should be able to get it in place. Push down the bracket, reinstall the screw to secure your card in place. There you go. Now that all of those things are installed, you can put your PCI riser back in place making sure that the ears for your riser match its mounting screws on the sides, mounting. And make sure your PCI is lined up with the actual riser port. Secure into place. Don't forget your air baffle for your ILO kit. And last, is our redundant power supply. Remove your blank. It's 500 watt redundant power supply in case your main PSU fails. Redundancy matters. Put that in place. We're set. That's it. You want to reinstall the cover. Power on the test. Everything is functioning. As you 
can see. Our hard drives are installed. And because there's power, we have a blinking status light on our server. We're going to start it up. Click the power button. Hard drives are now powering on. Our fans are starting to power. And now we have screen status. So everything is starting up. So our RAM is recognized, we have 32 gigs total, one Intel Xeon E2236 processor, six cores enabled. Hey guys, Soul King here, thanks for joining us again in the tech shop for our HP ProLine DL20 build. Like, share, subscribe.